What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Undertale. I wanted to start here because I've never seen this title screen before. Toriel is just reading a book in her chair and the music's different. It's so beautiful. I never got to see this uh, in my last playthrough. So I, yeah, I just wanted to start there just because that was so cool. All right, so we're moving on over here. We got a, okay, this is an ice puzzle. We got an, we got an ice puzzle. Let's start up here, man. This reminds me of Team Rocket. This has got some Team Rocket vibes to it for sure. Some Team Rocket hideout vibes. Um, is it just a circle? Wow. That was really easy. Okay, cool. What? It begs the question though, what's down here? I always gotta figure that out. Oh, we got some, we got a statue. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. <laughs> oh man. Goes to show that the effort that those guys put in. Wait a minute, are you, are, is, that, is this real life? Oh no, dude. No way! No way! Only me, guys. Only me would complete the puzzle successfully the first time and then fail it the second time, even though I knew the solution. What the heck, dude? I'm kind of surprised I got that first try. I mean, I have played the game before. We've been over this, but I didn't expect myself, you know, to remember a puzzle like this. I kind of just won it. Oh, dude, the thing was open the whole time! Wait. I got snow on the top of my head. All right, that was weird. I need to I need to get into it, man. I'm kind of out of it. Let's go. We got some Sans action coming up. What's up? Some eyes looking at us. We've got Giftrot confronting us. Giftrot, we're gonna decorate you. You added some googly eyes. You found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. Um. Okay, so we, so we're gonna gift him. He refuses gift. I meant to. Uh, I meant to. What's it called? I meant to undecorate him, but my control stick slipped. You remove the Google eggs. Thanks for nothing. Oh come on. At least I thought about you. At least I removed them. Um. Gift refuses your gift. How am I supposed to? I've done everything I can, man. I think attack defense some teens decorated as a prank is this funny to you yeah man teenagers suck right yeah teenagers are the worst I'm not a teenager anymore as of a couple days ago actually like a week ago so uh, I can hate on them all I want all right so we're decorating him again maybe I just need to look at his face oh shoot this is actually kind of confusing Okay, so that's definitely not. Whoa! Yeah, I need, I need to be careful. I'm not. I'm, I'm not about to die to a gift trot. Gift. Why are you refusing my gift? Okay. How about undecorate again? Oh, I just need to undecorate more of him. Thanks a little. Okay. So I need to get all the decorations off of him. That's kind of clear. Move the box of non-dog-related raisins. That's a little better. Hey man, I'm just trying to help you out, Gift Trot. You're my bro. You move the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. <laughs> A weight has been lifted. Problems have been taken away. Well, I'm glad. I'm very glad. And there we go, we spared a Gift Trot. Say, are you following me? I mean, we're kind of just going in the same direction. Oh, that's cool. There's a little house there. Ooh. It's a door. It's a door. Uh oh. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. <laughs> Let's exit. Let's exit and see what happens. Let's talk to Sands again. Where's my boy Papyrus at, though? Real talk. Where is he at? It's a door. 
Nothing like the design on the door doesn't tell me anything to solve this puzzle. And I definitely don't remember this from last time. Hmm. All right, let's move back. We are actually stumped for the first time in the in the game. I'll probably figure it out quickly. But uh dude, he's going back this way. What's up? He does the same thing on the way back. That's kind of funny. Oh, there's more over here. What the frick, man? Nobody told me about this. What a tiny doghouse. It's a snow puff. And this it's a, is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Oh, you know what that is. That's a dog tail. Oh my god, I'm so pumped. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. It's the greater dog! With the best theme in the game. Alright, we're gonna pet him. Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Bark. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta get him closer. Uh, Beckon, you call the greater dog. It bounds toward you, flecking, slobbering into your face. Alright, I'm cool with that. Let's back in it one more time. Bear dog, ears perk up, nothing else happened. Okay, now. I think I gotta play with it this time. Alright, greater dog, we got this, buddy. We got this. Play with him. It's not excited enough to play. What? You gotta get pumped, man. Oh, shoot. No way we're about to die here. Um. Monster candy? Okay, that was a good choice. I just know not to eat the butterscotch pie. Um, uh, pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap, as it's uh, as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Oh. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh man, power nap. If I've ever heard of one. All about the power nap, man. I used to take those in high school all the time. We're going to play with it. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. This is so cute. Greater dog wants some TLC. All right, sure, we'll play with you. I was too tired to play. Okay, well then I should pet, pet, definitely pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. All right, we gotta pet more, man. Oh, shoot. Stop barking at me. Stop barking at me. You pet decisively. Pet cap capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Aww. And that's it. That's Greater Dog. <laughs> it was nice playing with you, buddy. Walks backwards with his head in the armor. Alright, we're walking on the bridge. Oh, I remember this part. This is great. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh boy! Look, it's Greater Dog just chilling. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I, I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, that doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we, we can use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Alright, I'm sure that was it. Phew. 
are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a question on that last one. Here, I'll give you some advice about fighting my brother. Don't. Capiche? Capash. And we're in Snowden! Do, 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 do. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Probably shouldn't save mid episode in case something goes wrong. But, you know what? YOLO. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Um. This uh, brings our defense up. So we got Tough Glove, Manly, Bandana, Bicycle, but it's not spelled properly. Cinnamon Bun is my own recipe. Alright, so we're going to grab a Cinnamon Bun to heal our health, and we're going to grab a Manly Bandana for defense. Sell, huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you're from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. I love that line so much because it's just making fun of RPGs and how you can sell your items at a shop, you know, like anywhere, even your useless junk. And this game's like, wait a minute, like, that doesn't really make much sense. Like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna equip the manly bandana, give us some extra defense. I talk like I know what I'm talking about, but that just seems like the logical thing to do. Snowed in! The Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80G. I'm good, man. I'm good. I kind of want to, like, come back maybe and, and stay a night. Maybe it's worth it for the experience. I don't know what you get out of it. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum. Oh. What's maximum HP? All right, we're staying a night at the Snowed Inn. I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. We don't even have 80G. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Dude, everyone's so nice! Oh my gosh! Look at her sleeping face down in the bed while these other people are like snoring in the other room. Wow, it's playing the uh, like the game over death theme. That's amazing. Wow, what a great snoring barbershop quartet. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> it's so real, man. This game is so raw. I love it. Feel free to come back if you get tired. We have 30 HP. Oh, it's temporary, though. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I have 75G. I thought I had 80. That makes sense why. So, it looks like it's temporary. Like, you don't keep the, the HP buff. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the Undersnow Tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Okay. Whoa. How efficient. All right, let's go back. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> What's between you guys? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like ours. Like ours. It's tree like horns. Totally different kind of text. <laughs> so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So that's how it happened. That's how it all started. It started with a gift torn. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> this town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. I love this place so much. <laughs> Let's go to Grillby's. Alright, I gotta come up with voices for all these characters. Hey, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. 
and when you eat it, passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> what is this? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people, help, I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap if you give it lots of love and attention. Oh, these are the dogs from before. These are all the people from before. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. Dogs playing poker, classic. It appears to be losing. I put out, uh, I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, <laughs> I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to m make out with a fish. <laughs> Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grub said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but uh, he doesn't touch this stuff. Oh, that's not his voice. It's, gi it's giraffe guy. Giraffe guy. Horse guy, I mean. He looks like a horse, at least. <laughs> giraffe was way off. <laughs> oh, it's a giraffe. Okay, anyway. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. All right. The jukebox is broken. No, oh, that's upsetting. All right. Well, I talked to everyone in there. I don't usually do this in my Let's Plays, but this game is just so gold that I have to, like, talk to everyone. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes trying to forget our modern crises. Crises. Dreariness. Crowding. Lack of sunlight. I would enjoy them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? This guy has the right idea. This guy has the right idea. Alright, let's keep going. Actually, let's go up here. Actually, let's not. Let's go over here first. This episode's just gonna be snowed in town. That's gonna be it. But it's so, so amazing. I don't even care. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Is it really? I didn't even know. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me a word search as when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Dad, look in your eye. You're someone that has a difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? How'd you know, man? You just, you just nailed me. You nailed me right there. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. <laughs> Look inside. He's gonna know. I know he's gonna know, but I gotta do it anyway. It's empty. <laughs> oh my god. I got so worked up over nothing. It's locked. So it goes to the other end of town, it's locked from the inside. I mean, wouldn't the other one be locked from the inside too? Okay, that goes further in the game. Let's go up to the top. Man, I wish I could run in this game. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What was that noise? Let's play monsters and humans! Let's not. What are these noises? What? Is this real life? What is happening? Why? Why? I don't understand. Uh, 
Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 Is that seriously it? Is that seriously it? Is this... Is this real life? Can we just keep going? I bet you something happens if you do it like a bunch of times. I don't know if I necessarily have the patience to keep it up though. Let me know in the comments below if anything happens. I'm totally fine with you guys like revealing parts about the game that I've already done. You know what I mean? But like spoilers, like People gotta be careful about spoilers. I, we've already had to ban like one or two people from commenting because they were posting spoilers in the game. I guess they they weren't watching when I told them not to post any spoilers. But yeah, generally you guys have been pretty good about not posting spoilers, so thank you for that. All right. Anyway, so we can move forward in this white thing. With all this design and whatnot. But we're going to do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was pretty much just finishing up that area before Snowden Town and Snowden Town. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of wacky, zany characters. We're going to move on to the east side here in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome day, everyone.